here at Allen Fieldhouse. Baylor and Kansas in what should be an absolutely unbelievable game. And Baylor controls the opening tip. As we show you the degree starting lineup for Kansas and with McCuller out Nick Timberlake is in Johnny Furphy continues to start this is Timberlake's first start of the season as Dickinson finds KJ Adams Jr. Well Kansas on out of bounds under just taking advantage of the fact that Baylor is switching and they just cleared out to give it to KJ Adams over the top a much better shoot a much more assertive shooter he's looking for that now where before he was reluctant to shoot it. Kansas by six early. What a pass. Adams to Dickinson. They lead the nation with an assist rate of over 70%. And Hunter Dickinson, another great defensive play by Lamarco Jackson. He read that beautifully. Dickinson off the window and a chance for three. And that means matchups aren't going to be what you want. Dickinson spins off Caleb Lohner. It's coming off the Houston game and right before the Baylor game. And within 36 hours of that Houston game where Kansas was magnificent, shooting 70%. Dickinson with the right hand this time. And the lead grows for Kansas. Quad one opportunities between now and the end of the regular season. Single coverage in the post for Dickinson. And the soft touch, it'll go. He's off to a very nice start today. But K.J. Adams did a great job of taking away that second opportunity after the shot fake from Jacoby Walter. Dickinson hits the three. Harris takes a bump, switches hands, tips it. But here come the Bears. I think Ray J. Dennis has to start driving the ball. Good pass. No look pass from Little. Finds a wide open Bridges. Now Kansas is not a great shooting team. So Baylor is not really getting out in passing lanes. So Kansas around the perimeter can make whatever pass they want. How about Johnny Furphy putting it on the deck? And he's going to the line with a chance for three. And Bill Self told us in Manhattan, Kansas on Monday that the thing that surprised him most about Furphy was how, how great of a shooter that he is. Brown in for Dickinson. Harris with all kinds of room and what a recovery by Misi. Well, he is a big time athlete. Prolific prep out, uh, prep out in California. He had 25 points against TCU in that triple overtime game. His last four games, he's averaging over 15 and he's 22. And Bill Self probably wants to get another technical right now after seeing that. Dennis, oh, nice pass. pass, and Misi the finish. Dennis got, it's really a high horn set, and a hard roll by Eve Misi. There was nobody there to pick him up, because Nick Timberlake, where the replay looked like he got that front shoulder past Parker Brown. Good pass. And a better one. Harris to Adams to Brown. He's not going to go to the offensive class because of defensive balance, but he really sticks his nose in there to rebound. Walter turns it over. Furphy the steal. And Furphy the finish and one. Fender's going to knock it away and take it from you. But just had that right hand down, was able to knock that. Ball. Scott Drew is going to leave him in, and you can't blame him with how well he played in the first half. But boy, he's got to be careful. Misi draws one at the other end, and that's going to go. Sets a ball screen. You know that he's going to roll to the hole. And just K.J. Adams way too late being there to tag him. And then tag him means just get in front of him, stop his progress toward the basket. He'd already caught the ball. Dickinson over Misi. Couldn't finish, and a good job by Misi just to hold his ground and not pick up a fourth foul. Bridges in the corner, and it's a one-point game. Well, both have created cultures of excellence. And there's the lob. That's an inbounds play of excellence right there. K.J. Adams. From the basket, and Johnny Furphy just comes down, sets a little back screen for K.J. Adams, and there's no pressure on Dewan Harris. To your point about Kansas in the three ball, they've only made two of them in this game, and they've made fewer threes per game than any team in the Big 12 this year, as Little slams it. I think Dickinson's where you got to look here. The handoff, the ball screen, the three for Harris. Counter. 
Baylor going underneath the ball screen. Dewan Harris a little step back. He's got that. Dennis into the chest of Furphy, who stands him up, and here come the Jayhawks. Great outlet pass by Dickinson. No look pass. Timberlake. Back to back threes for Kansas. But a great outlet pass, and Nick Timberlake shooting about 26% from three, but at Towson, he made over 100 threes, drills it. I like that high ball screen action. Well, not a very good pass. Timberlake the steal and the slam. For the Bears in this game. It's crushing them. Just a simple guard to guard pass. You throw a little pass fake. Make... Good pass. Dickinson creating position, and as you said, when he gets that deep, it's almost automatic. I think the Kansas coaches would say the last player they had that was that smart defensively was probably Miles Garrett. Great pass. Macy the slam on a beautiful feed from Dennis. Jay, you were dishing out the Aussie trivia, but I have a question for you. What percentage of Australians live on the coast? On the coast of Australia yep. or worldwide? In, in Australia. <laughs> and here comes Baylor. They're turning it over like crazy, but they are playing with a lot of fight, and they are only down eight. And they are only down five after Jaden Nunn knocks one down. Kansas being pushed further out on the floor without Dewan Harris on the floor to handle the ball. Into Dickinson. What a block. Burphy. Five to shoot. Harris. And it goes. And Kansas should take this all the way down before putting up a shot. Dickinson. Timberlake and a turnover it's Baylor ball boy and the strategy of playing it out worked very well for Baylor now an opportunity here for the Bears and really with 14 seconds if they can get a quick score just take it get it down court quickly and get it to the rim and if you get over help then you kick it out for a three from but otherwise looks like they're going to go with a some sort of high horn set Two up top, two in the corners. Ray J. Dennis brings it over for the Bears. Drives and kicks. None. Short. Timberlake has it. And is fouled by Walter as Jaden Nunn had a good look from the corner that would have tied the game. Boy, and Bill Self is saying, why did we help off a corner shooter? You're not helping on a left hand, you know, left side drive. Look at Nick Timberlake. Why is he helping there? He's taken away a two and gave up a wide open three. Kansas dodged one there. And they've got another opportunity. Walter. Got to get a shot off. Oh! Just short and Kansas hangs on. Boy, they had two looks in the last 15 seconds of the game to tie it and came up empty. And the Jayhawks survive and win 64 to 61. Survive is the absolute right descriptive term. Nick Timberlake misses the free throw and now a three ties it. And Jacoby Walter got the little brush screen in transition. Nobody up. And you can't ask for a better look to tie the game. That corner three when Nick Timberlake helped off and shouldn't have. And then this in transition at the end of the game.